In this video, we built this LEGO Star Wars mock in just 5 days. It was tough. So watch till the end to see the finished build, and hit that subscribe button to help us on our journey to 10k. First things first, we began by laying out a plan for the build. We aimed to build it over 4 grey base plates laid down a 2x2 two two square. The mock would include a separatist base, a forest, and a clone force attacking it. And with that, we got building. We began by placing filler brick across all of the base plates to give level of depth to the build, and then we plated over it in order to have a solid base to work on. That's it for day one. We literally did nothing. Day two began with us marking out where we wanted the base to go. I then took apart what we did yesterday so I could start work on my river, which would lead out of the base, whilst Leverum did some overly complicated rock work. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I then tiled off the river to give it a natural feel, and Leverum created a doorway to the separatist base. I replated the forest floor to make sure it was all green, and everything was going well. Until it wasn't. Uh, hey. So, uh, you having a good time? Yeah, great time. But nonetheless, we carried on for the next few hours. And finished the day with an entrance to the base, some very nice rock work, a river and the beginnings of a forest. Oh, man, I need to go to bed. On day three, we picked up where we left off. I continued laying down a variety of different plants on the forest floor and soon moved on to creating a mud pathway which would lead up towards the base. Leverum finished even more complicated rock work and I created a dark grey pathway leading away from the base which would eventually fade into the mud one. Leverum began work on the exterior of the separatist base which was going surprisingly well. and it's safe to say we were both actually enjoying ourselves. How's it going? Not too bad. Do you like my plants? Yeah, mate, pretty good. It looks like you're building the set from Rio 2. Bruh, what <laughs> sort of colour is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I am amazing. Look at, oh, hang on. How have I got, oh, I got sharp, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> End of day three, we have foliage, we have a pathway, we have rock work, and also the beginning of a base. How exciting! Let's go to day four. Right, it's day four, so today we're going to do some more foliage work, get that all completed. We also have plans to complete the exterior of the base as well as start on the interior as well. And not to mention, if we have some spare time, we're going to start work on getting some trees in there. So without further ado, let's build. That is right. I began by laying down even more foliage whilst Leverum built himself a very nice sewer. And after a couple hours of work, Leverum had made some very nice progress on the interior of the Separatist base, which he was very proud of. <laughs> I had added some more foliage to the forest floor and even built something which I'll take apart the next day. Ah, oh, that cut off the top of your head. What a genius. Right, what's going on? Well, I have decided that I'm going to change that. And, uh, why's that? Well, because I don't like it and also I've decided I want to make a shield generator now instead, so... I'm gonna do that. I hastily began work on my shield generator, basing it off of what we see in the Empire Strikes Back on Hoth. And, after an hour's work, it was done. Very nice. Leverum then built two AATs which we placed in the Separatist base. And I added some finishing touches to both the interior and exterior. We then began constructing some trees for the forest, And just when we thought we were done... Yes! We are finished! Nearly. Oh yeah, we got to the figures. We are out of clones. Send in the reinforcements. Nice. Leverum then built a 501st battle pack to boost the number of clones in the mock. Yes. 
And finally, we're finished. Finally, let's take a look at the build. That is right, after five days of painful building, we were done. This mock was filled with details and action. The forest included a huge variety of plants and trees, and a river leading out of the sewer in the base. The clone assault featured an ATT which had been downed by the Separatist forces, and a special forces unit of clones called the 207th Ghost Squad were secretly making their way into the base via the sewage system. This base included two AATs, a ton of droids, and a bunch of details everywhere you look. Not a bad job for five days work. So subscribe and we might do it again, just even harder.